How y'all doing today? What's up, right, Coach? How are you? Hola. So, going back to the pre-draft process, how did you first learn about Montreal Washington and what jumped out about him to you? Oh, yeah, that's easy. To, to be completely honest, Coach Z brought him up. Coach Z said, I have a receiver that I, that I like. He's a smaller slot receiver. Would you mind watching him as a returner? And I put the tape on. Obviously, I know there's a lot of Florida graduates out there, so I apologize. <laughs> but anytime you have a kid at Sanford that has production versus a big program, it draws your attention, right? So that, that, that's really what Coach Z brought him up. And then I went and watched him, and I said, this kid has talent. You, uh, you talked about finding some of those core special teams guys, George. Uh, Peyton mentioned, you know, Mathis could be one of those guys. Absolutely. Turner Yale could be one of those guys. What do you see from them from a special team standpoint? Well, again, when, when, when we're doing these drills out here, you want to see their athleticism. And what's big for me, too, is if kids can learn in the classroom and then transform that to the field, right? We want to see if they can listen, see how smart they are, because obviously FBI is big in football, right? So watching those kids run around, I'm not going to, you know, say that they're the next whomever, but uh, they do have talent, absolutely. And they can help us on special teams. When they come in young like that, a lot of them have been stars at the place they left. Correct. They certainly stand out. Is that part of it is to see which ones are selfless and are going to buy into special teams, which is by nature is a kind of a selfless job? 100%. So, you know, again, like I said the last time, a lot of those guys in college who start, they don't play special teams, right? So when they come here, it's sort of like if they're not starting, they have to find a role. What is your role? Are you a core special teams player? Are you a role special teams player? Are you a difference maker special teams player? So just evaluate those guys, seeing the willingness, if they can do it, seeing if they can tackle. That's all part of it, 100%. Absolutely. Did any of the uh, tryout guys catch your attention? Uh, you, you know what I told myself the last time I met you guys? I'm going to stop naming names. I thought as a, as a group, uh, it was one of the better groups, rookie groups that I've been around in the 15 years that I've been coaching. I think those guys came in focused. They came in determined. I think they're trying to prove that they belong, right? They want to show the vets that they belong. And I think they did a good job this weekend. But just did your love for special teams apparition in your career? I know you've touchdowns on it for Kenya. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, back back in those days when I played, and I'm not trying to sound real old, but <laughs> I am 45. But uh, we had to play special teams at Virginia, right? So, yeah, I started on defense, but I wanted to help our team win. And the coach said, we want the best players on special teams as well as on offense and defense. So whatever it took to help, help the University of Virginia win games, I was willing to do. I had no problem doing that. So, yes, my love for the special teams started there. But then once I got to the league and I wasn't a starter anymore, it was eye-opening, right? Because at, at college, they're tell, everybody's telling you, oh, you're great at this. You're great. You're great. Then you get to the NFL and you have older vets that are telling you you're not as good as you think you are a rook, right? You have to earn your position. You have to earn your spot. And the only way I was going to earn a, a roster spot was playing special teams. I had John Lynch in front of me. I had Dexter Jackson in front of me. I had Jermaine uh, Phillips in front of me. I had a lot of talented safeties in front of me. So I was like, I want to make this team. I will do whatever it takes to make this team. And that's what I'm trying to instill in these guys too, especially the younger guys. You got to take advantage of the opportunities you're given, and you got to take hold of that. If you get a shot to take a job from someone, you got to do it. Did you take a, look at the, take a look at the schedule your first time as a coordinator? You open at Seattle, a place you're familiar with, and then you go to the Rams on Christmas Day? You know I looked at that schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get excited about the schedule, though. I don't – I mean, wherever we play, whenever we play, hopefully you're preparing your guys for every atmosphere, right? You, you should get excited about playing in Seattle the first game. What other place would you rather play, right? You want to play a team that you know has been consistently good over the years, and now you're really testing yourself to see where you are as the Denver Broncos. So I'm excited for it. I'm really excited for it. I hope our guys are excited for it, too. I know Russell is. I haven't talked to him, but I know he is. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks,